Oh, no. I thought that if I waited long enough, you'd be asleep as well. You're a stubborn thing, aren't you? Don't you have better places to be than here? Your house, maybe. Your bed, perhaps? Somehow, I don't believe that. Surely there are more important things to fire you over than simply refusing to stay up all night. Ah, uh, well, it makes me even more glad that I'm not in the police. At least if I don't sleep, it's by choice. Is the detective life as exciting as you were envisioning it to be? I can just about imagine how proud you'd look after your first arrest. Which hasn't happened yet, I know. It would be easier to picture your happy face if you, well, actually smiled while we were together, by the way. <laughs> I told you this already, haven't I? I know quite a bit about the police's internal workings. In fact, a little birdie told me that they've given you other cases to work on. I'm hurt. I don't go around seeking other detectives, I'll have you know. Maybe it does have a little to do with the fact that I don't particularly want to be arrested yet. But that's besides the point. If I did get captured someday, I'd want it to be you. <laughs> hey, I never said that day had to be today. You know just how this is going to go, anyway. I'm going to take what I want, and you're going to get a long, restful nap until morning. Nuh uh. The owner of the house went to bed at midnight. Your team leader signed out for the night at, uh, 3 a.m., and the rest of your backup is asleep as of, uh, four minutes ago. Nobody will bother us for a long time. I'm really glad it turned out this way, actually. I've been trying to get into that head of yours for a little bit. But the first time is always tricky. Especially when you make it so hard for me to find your headspace when you're asleep. It will be much easier since you're right here where I can see you. And I don't even have to lift a finger. I have everything I need already. Tell him that if he really wants to keep his family heirloom safe, he should spend less money on clothes and more on an actual defense system. His birthday as a passcode? <laughs> really? I've found that the richer they are, the less they care. See, this is how I can tell you're half asleep. I've been roaming through his belongings upstairs for the past hour, and you didn't even bother to come check in. Seriously, that's why I thought you might be asleep. But I suppose that's why you decided to become a detective and not a full-time bodyguard. Think of it as me doing you a favor by helping you rest. Let's wrap this up quickly. Okay? Pinky promised to not struggle too much. You've been up all night long waiting for me to show up. I can tell that you're tired. Take a nice deep breath and relax. Let go. Yeah. It's easy, isn't it? You being so sleepy saves me a lot of trouble. Your resistance crumbles easily, and every time I put you to sleep, it becomes much easier for me to do it the time after. Shh, shh, shh. Sit on the armchair. I would love to carry you to bed. But I'm sure he wouldn't like knowing that the guard that got sent to help him went to sleep in one of his guest rooms. You understand, right? We 
leaving you on the cold floor of the ballroom the other day wasn't particularly nice either. At least, this is a little better. I haven't really had the chance to show you how chivalrous I can be. That's unfortunate. Someday, I'm going to have to take you out and show you places. And I'll get a smile out of you. That's a promise. Stop trying to resist my magic, will you? You can just let your tiredness melt naturally into sleep. And if you'll let me in without much hassle, I'll make sure you dream of only nice things. I know. You can't help yourself from wanting to look at me for longer. But you can close your eyes. I won't be offended. That's right. Go to sleep. Huh? What? What did you just do? You handcuffed me to you. I actually wasn't expecting that. It's not going to help you here, but I am impressed. I could have sworn you were barely conscious. Hmm, maybe you still are. Where were we? Ah, yes. You were just about to go to sleep. Your last ditch effort to capture me didn't help you feel any more awake, did it? It shows. Your eyes have drifted back shut already. Go to sleep, little detective. And I'll be far closer to you than you can possibly imagine. <sighs> well, I didn't know that you had it in you. You want me to remain as close to you as possible? <laughs> you should have just said so. Even on the edge of sleep, you're full of surprises. I think I see what you were planning. You banked on me getting all close to you, so you could handcuff me and keep me here until backup arrived. Too bad I took care of them earlier. I would have almost liked to see it happen. Almost. So, where is the key? Your pockets, I presume? Just be good and give it up to me, okay? Mm. Hmm. Um, to say that again, would you? Your slurred speech makes it a little hard to understand what you're saying. Oh, hmm. never mind. I heard you correctly the first time. I wish I'd misheard, though. You don't have it on you. Really, now? It's all the way at the police station? You really thought things out, huh? What a smart cookie they sent my way. All the idiots that came before you made me a little complacent. I'll know not to underestimate you from now on. A small change of plans. I'm going to have to bring you with me to sort things out. I'd like for you to open your eyes, but remain asleep. Can you do that? Great. Now stand up. It's a little awkward with our hands like this, but you can lean on me if you'd like. A paper clip or hair clip would do the trick easily enough, but <laughs> being caught off guard is so exciting. Why end the fun so soon, right? Since you've thrown yourself to me so openly, the best I can do is to welcome you with open arms. While you probably weren't expecting me to have dealt with your colleagues already, I want to believe that this is all part of a plan to spend as much time with me as possible. Walking together under the moonlight is romantic. Kind of. 
Hey, you're supposed to be asleep. You blowing me off is even more hurtful. Oh, so sharp. Your talent is really wasted with the police. Let's go for a little walk, all right, detective? You just follow me. Hello everyone, it's Prince Cargo, and thank you for listening to another one of my audios. It means the world to me to get this love and the support and everything else that I get from you guys on a daily basis. Truly speaking, I cannot describe just how thankful I am. Special thank you goes out to all of my Patreon supporters, and especially that to my precious pets over on Patreon. Robobunny, Nikki Pele, Ghost, Unknown God. Michelle, Nightmare, and T. Briscoe. Thank you all so, so much for all of your support. It means the world to me. Thanks again for listening. And remember that your prince loves you all. Mwah.